questions thus far, but I just want to ask you guys to really just open your eyes, your hearts, and your ears to everything that's going on in the world, everything that's going on in society, and just really be receptive to this message that I have for you guys tonight. I just want to preface things by saying I'm here in LA, only six or seven, maybe eight months, so I'm new here. Um, I'm originally from New York, so, uh, um, so I, I'm no stranger to diversity at all, and Though it may be hard to believe, I've experienced some things here in LA that I've never experienced back at home in New York, especially being from Queens, which is one of, if not the most, diverse counties in the country. <coughs> so whether it be at school, whether it be in my personal life, sometimes I encounter people and they just say the craziest things and they just do the craziest things. And I just have to take a step back and, and breathe. And then sometimes in my mind, I'm thinking, wow, you're serious aren't you? You have some audacity to be upset. Oh, I see. I've offended you. I've offended you with my pride, my power, my very presence in this place, and my knowledge. Can't forget that. That's your worst nightmare, isn't it? But see, I can't bother myself with your fears. Because my time doesn't have the luxury of being squandered frivolously when I have to work 20 times as hard as you to achieve even the mediocre things in life. I don't have the privilege of sauntering through life carefree because the moment I decide to casually walk to the store to get Skittles and a soda, I can end up face down in cold pavement with hot bullets in my back. And don't let one of my brothers call themselves wearing a hoodie as they innocently walk down the street on the way home from the mall. Oh, this is the part where you get scared? You don't know fear. You wouldn't know it, so you have to look back in your textbook for 200 years and see your ancestors being treated like filthy <coughs> farm animals, thinking now that things have changed, only to find that ain't shit. <laughs> what am I saying? Your people know fear. They're just better at hiding it than the rest of us. Major corporations, mass incarceration, institutional racism. <laughs> Yet somehow you think racism doesn't exist. We need to get over it. We're overreacting. We have a black president. That's what you tell your friends when nobody's around, right? It's comments like that that are like a malignant tumor to every bit of progress that this country can make. Every nuance between us does not constitute my people being subdued and oppressed. We're still waiting on our 40 acres and a mule. This thing that you foolishly think doesn't exist has never gone away. Sure, we've taken a few steps to the better side of things, but we've always been haunted by the hateful residue of the past. But me, I'm not bitter. There's nothing for me to get over. History is not something that can be ignored, nor can it be erased. I don't know. Some of y'all seem a little uncomfortable. <laughs> but um, that's ironic because it's people like you all that thrive on making others feel out of place. Perhaps you should pick up a book or a newspaper that's written without the same repulsive biases that you have, and then, maybe just then, we can make a change. So come on, people, everybody, now let's get information. I'm tired of marches and peaceful demonstrations. 